Hi there! Hmm. Okay, so it's been just over a month since my last update. And so I guess I'm about to do. I actually have quite a few things to talk about today. So I made myself a list. Uh, first thing I wanted to mention that uh, is pretty important to me. It's been just over one year since my good friend Adam Mermis died of cancer. And uh, this guy was amazing. He was just... I could just go on and on about him. He just really was someone special. And uh, it was really hard to to see what he was going through um, and to live that with him. But on the same hand, on the same side, it really it taught me a lot. Seeing his strength, seeing his passion, um, seeing how he handled it and how he lived. So he died on April 29th last year. Um, my grandmother actually died the same day, so it was kind of a rough week. <laughs> but she was 92, Adam was 25. Uh, she lived a long life, uh, Adam was just getting started. So, yeah, so that's kind of the little somber note to start with. Um, I, I, I can't believe it's been over a year. To me, that's just mind-boggling. Um, same thing, you know, my, my dad died in, in January 2006. And I can't believe how long ago that's been. It still seems like yesterday. Um, so on that note as well, I've been here. I'm now in my sixth month here in Korea. This is the furthest, or the the longest. I'm sorry, the longest I've ever been away from my family and friends. Um, it feels like I got here yesterday. And whether it's my father, whether it's Adam or my grandmother or Arriving here in Korea, I totally can't believe how fast time goes. So, anyway, it's been six months, um, almost six months since I've been here. It's been a blink of an eye. I, I can't believe everything I've seen and done, experienced and learned and shared and so many things in this amount of time. But, anyway, I made my list so I wouldn't ramble too much. Yeah, so everything is, is great. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, really enjoying things in my school. I can't emphasize that enough. Like, it's it's so cool. And, I mean, some of the smallest things, like, one of my co-teachers <laughs> keeps giving me all this leftover milk from our school, you know? And, like, that's such a tiny thing, but I really appreciate that. It's really nice. Like, this is so much milk, and I drink a lot of milk. I really enjoy milk. Um, I've noticed a fair bit of progress with my students, which is pretty cool. Uh, makes me feel like I'm actually having an impact in, in that sense of being a teacher. And in particular, my the Korean English teachers that I spend um, three hours a week with, specifically, you know, doing teacher stuff, um, I've noticed a lot of improvement in them, which is really cool. And that makes me feel really good, uh, especially when it comes to uh, some of their little habits, uh, as well as pronunciation and things like that that's really progressing well and the vice principal is probably the one who has progressed the most I think since I've been here he's totally come out of his shell as far as uh, a confidence level is concerned his vocabulary is expanding his his understanding of 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 me is improving and that's really really nice to see um, the school recently bought me a fan I kind of half asked for one and they they bought me a fan for home here is really cool um, I get paid today so I'm pretty pumped up for that and not only did I get paid today but the the school went out of their way to make sure I got paid today um, even though my official payday is the 25th which is Sunday so that's really that was really nice of them uh, because drumroll. I booked my flight today for my summer vacation, and yeah, I'm really pumped about that. I'll get more into that in a second. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Well, just Korean stuff in general about why I'm so excited um, to still be here and to be doing what I'm doing. Um, a couple days ago, we had a picnic day, and that was a lot of fun. Day off work, uh, went with a bunch of the uh, grade 12 students and watch them play all these cra crazy Korean games 
for a few hours. There will be a video coming on that soon. That was that was a lot of fun. It really was. And the the some of the parents made us uh, got us um, a good lunch, prepared all that for us. And then Miss Song took me to a place about a half hour or so, maybe 20 minutes or so north of here, a very tiny fishing village, and, and we get to walk around there a bit. So that was a really nice day. Then the next day after that, which was yesterday, um, was the school sports day. So we didn't have any classes for that day either, and <laughs> just the whole day was spent watching the students uh, play their sports. and. This was really cool, like the Korean wrestling and the soccer and the soccer baseball and tug of war and uh, basketball and a so did I say soccer game or did I just think that soccer game? Um, yeah, it was really cool. So I have a lot of footage from that, and I'll be posting a few videos of that soon as well. So really, with my school, I'm really getting to see a lot of these traditional Korean stuff and and really get into the Korean culture here. It's it's such a wicked opportunity to be to be at the school that I'm at, um, and I'm definitely no question I'm thankful for that every single day. So.